Hello, my name is Bob Lindberg and welcome to Kinesiology 101. Uh, this is an introduction to the 30-hour course I have uh, uh, set up for students enrolled in uh, for the 30-hour course. And uh, basically it is some uh, readings in a book, uh, in a kinesiology manual, some readings that uh, that I've written and also some activity charts or action charts and so this set of series is mostly based on uh, is for the act the activity charts. Um, we'll be looking at uh, different joints throughout the body um, throughout the whole body and looking at uh, the, the actions the muscles involved and how they are involved and basically when we look at movements in the in, at the first level of understanding uh, we want to follow a series of steps. And the first step we want to do is identify the, the joint. Um, in this case, we'll just use the elbow. We'll identify the joint. Then the second thing we want to do is identify the muscles crossing over the joint on, on all sides, top, bottom, and, and all around. You can use an anatomy book to do that. Um, the third thing you want to do is determine the action. What action are you looking at to um, to analyze or to study. The fourth thing we want to do, not necessarily in this um, in this study, but in general what you, what you would like to do is determine whether the movement is distal, the distal bone is moving, or if it's proximal, the proximal bone is moving. Then you'd want to determine which muscles are shortening and which muscles are lengthening. And finally you want to determine which muscles are the agonist and the antagonist? The agonist being the muscles that, uh, that are responsible for the movement or control the movement, uh, modulate the movement, and the antagonists are the muscles that do the opposite action. Thank you.